If you're having trouble sleeping, might I suggest... What's the matter? Neasel got your tongue? Right. Silencing charm. Just a precaution. I couldn't have you interrogating me in the corridor. I wanted to get here unnoticed. What do you mean interrogating you? I... See? Always with the questions. have questions. You sneak around, do Merlin knows what to Cassandra, steal her plant and then disappear. And you cursed me so I couldn't remember any of it. Don't be daft. I obliviated you. Not a curse. I had to figure things out and I didn't need you talking to your friends. Or worse, McGonagall. Well, I don't appreciate you messing with my memories. Noted. What else did you want to know? Professor McGonagall found your thinking board. The photos of Professor Longbottom and Cassandra had X's through them. Why? I omitted them as suspects, so I crossed them out. Suspects? The Ministry was right about one thing. Plants are involved in the so-called mysterious malady, but someone is behind it, using plants to spread the sickness. So... I started investigating people who know plants. It quickly became apparent that neither Longbottom nor Cassandra were the culprit. Not that I suspected Neville for a second. Why did you take Cassandra's plant and run? I told you. I needed time to sort things out, and as the plant was obviously dangerous, I didn't... <sighs> Never mind. Didn't what? I couldn't risk you being infected too. I wanted to get it far away from everyone. What did you do to Cassandra? Nothing. I was trying to help her. You saw me. What I saw was you standing over her, looking guilty with your wand out. You've got it all wrong. I suspected those ridiculous bloom for you plants were dangerous. When I saw Cassandra with one, I tried to take it from her. That couldn't have gone well. It did not. She said it was hers. To prove it, she made it bloom. Cassandra was asleep before I could cast a spell to stop her. That's when you showed up. What am I doing here? Kidnapping is a ministry offense, you know. This isn't a kidnapping. 
I need your help. I know this is confusing, but if we don't move quickly, someone else is going to end up in the hospital. Look. These are all victims that were discovered recently. They've all received Bloom for Yous. But the plant was so popular, Ministry investigators didn't think twice about it. Mm -mm. There's more. Look at the captions. But why? Don't know why, but I do know who. Look. Mr. Thorne? But he's so nice. Why would he... Right, sorry. Don't judge a wizard by his big smile and fancy flower shop. There's no one in his usually packed shop now. We should set off. Perfect time for an investigation. What do you mean, we? Come back later. Don't be absurd. Hmm. Mandrake, fully grown. They're deadly in battle. This one is still young, but it will knock out anyone in earshot. Yes, I remember. Right, that's what the earmuffs are for. Let's go. Look over there. I'll go that way. Find anything? Well, a lot of hair, which is disgusting. Right. The secret to the bloom for you plants. What a narcissistic concept. I also found a journal of recipes with pages torn out. He must have been experimenting with potions. Poisons, not potions. He was looking for one that could be delivered by his novelty plants. Who do you suppose is next on his list? No, Cassandra tricked him by now. He's going after Professor McGonagall himself. We have to stop him. The Three Broomsticks? Never heard of it. Do you know where it is? You don't get out much, do you? <laughs> Come on, I hope we're not too late.
Madame Rosmerta said Professor McGonagall was here. Thorne, too. They left together. We just missed them. That's good, right? They can't have gotten far. Let's hope not. Come on. What was that? We're too late. Oh, I wasn't expecting company. Back away from the headmistress, Thorne. I know what you're doing. Of course you do. You've been onto my methods since that day in the forest. There must be a poison. Keep the students safe with bubblehead charms. And I must say, well done. Well done indeed. I knew you were close, but to connect moi so quickly to the malady has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The mysterious malady. Stop stalling. You're through. Just giving credit where credit is due, my young friend. Now, while I hate to give up such a lucrative business, I'm afraid I must take my leave. They all think it's me, you know. That I did it, alone. You? That's preposterous. You're nothing but a glorified Rather matron. Unfortunate taste in clothes, I might add. Very disappointing. I've years of experience and you're just a student. As someone obsessed with the Battle of Hogwarts, you should have learned to never underestimate a student. You used the mandrake. Good. Oh dear. <laughs> you think you've won, don't you? Obviously. You're the one who's tied up. But it is I who have prevailed! Thanks to my ingenious plan. Those responsible for defeating the Dark Lord will pay the price. Pretty sure you'll be the one paying the price. Specifically, all the galleons you stand to lose, watching your life's work disappear. You know nothing. A vault filled with gold, which I have, by the way, would not sway my hand. I will gladly pay any price, knowing the Dark Lord's enemies are lost in slumber. Forever? Just as he was lost without form for fourteen long years! I will be his vengeance, his greatest champion. I will be remembered forever. Wouldn't it have been easier to just, you know, get rid of them? My dear girl, where is the artistry in killing? But there's nothing you can do about it now. Only I know the antidote to my poison. Try as you might, you won't be able to crack it, Miss Cole. You're wrong! Astrid is a genius! I don't know about that, but I do know you shouldn't leave your notes lying about when you're trying to hatch an evil plan. I have everything I need to make the antidote and prove you are to blame. Not the plants. How's the antidote coming? Slow. I've been at it all night. Reminds me of working with Madame Pomfrey when I was a student. Cassandra mentioned that. 
What did you do? At first, just collecting herbs and administering simple potions. But after the Battle of Hogwarts, the matron needed my help with everything. There were so many injuries and casualties. That sounds awful. You have no idea. That's when I began to appreciate how dangerous plants could be a force for good. And when I decided to become a healer. Well, I'm glad you did. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here to fix everything. Ah, there it is. Could you get my wand? It's by the roses. Roses? Uh, oh, I didn't know you like, um, y you know. Plants most people would call pretty. Yeah, that. Well, I do. There for my mum. <laughs> Ouch! Watch out for the thorns. Very deceptive plants, roses are. They're gorgeous, but dangerous in their own way. I think they're amazing, thorns and all. <laughs> I'm sure your mum would love them. Well, she's dead, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Obviously. How could you? Mum loved roses. So, on her birthday, I leave a bunch on her grave. I remember pricking my thumb on a rose thorn when I was small. She laughed and said it was a good life lesson. A lesson? Yes. She said, don't assume beautiful things can't hurt you. And then she explained how everything wonderful needs to be handled with care, even magic. I don't follow. She worked for the Department of Magical Accidents and Catastrophes, so she saw what being careless with magic can do. That's what killed her, trying to clean up a magical mess. That must have been awful. I was devastated, but Dad took it even harder. I've never seen someone miss another person so much. Anyway, that was a long time ago. May I have my wand? Oh, right. Sorry. All right. The antidote is ready.
Diabolica, Nifla.
Mm-hmm. 